coming up in this read. The individual that this concerns, you and them directly, are going to be speaking to each other and coming to some kind of resolution. Hi Leo, we're doing your general reading for April 2023. Everything that you need to know you can find in my description box and in my pinned comment below. And please do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, especially if you're cross-watching. This is a general reading, so if a part of the message doesn't resonate for you, then you leave it for someone else because clearly that bit of the message wasn't intended for you anyway, okay? Uh, right, so Leo, I am going to pull how others are seeing you at this time, what are the outside influences affecting you, and the possible outcome or the guidance, okay? Now, the first thing that's coming through for you super, super strong, Leo, uh, some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, that there is a bit of a hoo-ha that, that's going on between yourself and another person, right? And it's basically someone else is being overly critical of every single tiny thing that you do. Um, again, if you're cross-watching, this could be a Leo that's doing this to you, right? Uh, that there is certainly a lot of uh, bad vibes that's being chucked around, okay? Definitely. Um, it's like everything that you say at the moment is being twisted way out of context and it's very, very unfair and there's no need for it, basically, okay? Someone else is basically trying to make you look like an idiot or vice versa, right? Okay, so that being said... You do have someone around you, Leo, who thinks very, very highly of you. You've got the Lovers, the Queen of Cups and the Six of Cups in how others are seeing you at this time, right? This could be a new love interest for some of you. And for others of you, this will be a pre-existing connection, pre-existing relationship. Uh, somebody's saying that you're their soulmate, okay? And that there is a very uh, gentle vibe here with the Queen of Cups energy. So you're very nurturing, you're very kind, <clears throat> very loving. Um, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Um, basically, you are everything that this certain other individual is looking for in a partner whether that's romantic partner or business it's up to you okay everyone's story is going to be different for a lot of you this will be about work you've got the eight of coins as the overall energy uh what's underneath that one yeah the two of cups um a very harmonious business partnership here for some of you and for others of you a very harmonious romantic situation right uh, the outside influences that are affecting you, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Hierophant. Right. Um, somebody isn't moving. I, I feel that there is a pause that has been put on something. I'm going to have to clarify, right? Because I'm only getting surface level energies right now. Um, someone's being very rigid, very stubborn. With that being an outside influence... The chances are quite high for most of you that that's about the other person, right? Um, someone wants things done in a certain way, in a certain time frame. And uh, that, that is that Four of Swords that this... That's throwing me a curveball. Can you tell us about the Four of Swords, please? What's going on? The Four of Swords. It's like... Um, Someone needs to reevaluate something here, something to do with their family. Okay, happiness hater, fake smiles, bad habits, into you, dust it off, clout hungry and unbothered. Yeah, um, Leo, you could, this could be a situation where your person is dealing with one of their exes, okay? Because again, like, this is a situation outside of you. Ten of Cups, Four of Swords and the Hierophant. Someone that you're dealing with has made promises elsewhere and 
that's that stuck energy that I was picking up on, right? They feel that they're not in the position to be breaking that particular promise or that commitment. They could be married to someone else, right? Um, they could be separated as well. I'm feeling separated. So we've got someone else is basically pretending to be happy for you and your person. And underneath, they're not happy about it at all. Okay. If you look, happiness hater, fake smiles, bad habits, being into you, dust it off, clout hungry and unbothered. Right. Making out like they're not bothered when underneath they're actually seething. Um, I do feel that someone is addicted to you, but also I feel that someone is addicted to your person and they could be partaking in some kind of, um, should we say, extracurricular activities to deal with their heartbreak. Um, again, too many people involved with your situation here, Leo. I, I don't know if I can even explain this properly in a way that it's going to be understood because there's just that many people involved. Okay. Um, say, say if this is about a situation where you're romantically involved with someone who is currently separated from their spouse, their spouse obviously knows about you, you two being together. They pretended to be happy for you. They're really seething underneath all of that and doing See, I, I need to be careful because I'll end up getting my channel demonetized. Doing this to basically try and forget about how they feel about the entire situation, right? Um, this person has been bad mouthing you, but you, you're trying to just brush it off. You're trying to dust it off. Um, you feel stuck between a rock and a hard place at the moment because you don't know if there is anything that you can do about this particular person. Um, it, it's like they've, they, they haven't done anything illegal per se, nothing, nothing tangible that they can get in immediate trouble for, like it's very, very difficult to prove what it is that they've been doing. It's that sort of thing. You can clarify the lovers, please, for Leo. Bankrupt, yeah. Yeah, so it is someone who is separated from another individual. Okay. Clarify the Queen of Cups, please. Bad parenting, scared of, or hates the parent, etc. Okay. Um... So there's some kind of parental alienation that's been going on here for someone as well. Uh, again, that, that's never a nice situation to deal with. Definitely seek some kind of legal counsel for that one. And lonely for the Six of Cups, yeah. Um, someone's wishing that they could take something back, that they could revisit the past, that they could have a do-over. Uh, they're feeling lonely, exasperated. Tell us about the Ten of Cups, please, for Leo. Fed up, yeah. Someone is trying to separate themselves from a family situation that has gone, it's gone south. Your guidance or your likely outcome, Six of Swords, the Fool and the Page of Swords. So that's like, look before you leap. Uh, don't take any unnecessary risks. You've got karmic friends that's come out now as well. Um, for some of you, there was a network of people that you considered being friends that were involved with some kind of shit stirring that's happened. Tell us about the fool, please. You will be finding out exactly who said what. That was me that dropped the cards, by the way. And again, I do apologise. I'm, I'm not able to shuffle the cards properly this week because, um, as you can see, I'm a digit down. So it's really, really difficult for me to handle the cards. 
creep in for the fool. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, uh, a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Gemini or a Virgo. You could be, but you don't have to be. They could also be placements in your own chart. Um, someone is spying on you here, Leo. They're trying to find out gossip and information. Idol, loved, respected, admired, idolized and a fan. Someone's trying to figure out why everybody... Um, flocks to you you're very very popular and that's why they've been trying to triangulate you against everyone else scarcity tactics the survivor coins they're feeling inadequate and because of their own inadequacies they feel justified in trying to make your life as difficult as possible um it's not nice and clarify the lovers were bankrupt, please. For some of you, this person was responsible for your person uh, being financially bankrupt. They took them for everything. They took far more than their fair share and left your person with nothing. Main female. They could have done this to you, Leo. You could be the main female. Um, this individual could have drained your bank account. Tell us about the bad parenting. What's underneath that one? Ah oh, yes, the Queen of Cups. Someone has a very smothering mother or someone is a very smothering mother. Change. Uh, someone had to leave home at a very young age because of a smothering mother. And then they realised that their relationships followed the same pattern as what their parents did to them or put them through. They realised that they were attracted to what was familiar to them. Tell us about change. Thank you. Uh, the bridge in reverse. Interesting because my deck isn't in reverse. We've got the sun at the bottom of that deck as well. Um, see, with the sun, that indicates luck, development, growth and success, right? Um, it's also your happiness, you getting victory, you coming into your power and the truth, the, the, the truth of a situation coming out. Now, with your bridge in reverse, that's like you've burnt bridges or someone else that you're dealing with is currently in the process of burning bridges. Um, again, like I don't know what side of the table this is coming from. OK, um, I feel it's going to be flipping back and forth. But literally, someone is deliberately burning bridges, right? I feel that this could be you, Leo, because you've literally, you've had enough of dealing with someone else's issues, someone else's problems, so you're burning bridges. And you're making sure that it's permanent as well. Yeah, you've got the wealthy man and the main male in reverse. Yeah. Um, again, some the, someone literally identifies themselves with by how much they have in the bank okay and i don't know I, I don't like this energy i don't like this read at all leo um i'm not feeling connected to it at all um because it feels like a whole load of bs and for what for someone else's ego do you know what i mean and so for me, it just feels like I'm wasting my time because any, anything to do with crap like that, I, I honestly, I just can't be bothered with it. I'm just going to level you straight, Leo. I can't be bothered with people like that, with situations like that. It just pisses me off. Do you know what I mean? And I, I, I don't connect to it at all. I don't. Some of you are dealing with a straight up narcissist who seems to think that a quality of their person is whatever's in their bank account. And someone else is um, burning bridges with that particular individual, even though they still love them deep down. And like they, they've got these feelings of being lonely. Someone's having withdrawal symptoms, basically, from a narcissist. And that that's why I can't connect to this read. The flowers in the pathway. So with your... Um, 
flowers specifically. That's not the bouquet, that's the lilies because it's number 30. Uh, that's hindsight and memories. It can also indicate purity, uh, simplicity, ethics, morality, virtue. So it's, it's come out with the pathway, a rocky road ahead, Leo, and how it's going to take approximately two years to work through this situation. So it's indicating, look, it's going to take you approximately two years to get over this person, okay? Because some of you are suffering from some kind of an addiction to this person, all right? And that will take about two years for you to uh, rewire y your brain. Okay. And clarify ten of cups and fed up, please. Thank you. Distant horizons and privileged lady. Yeah, so you will get there at some point. Um, Distant Horizons is all about journey, okay? It can be physical, mental, spiritual, emotional. I'm feeling, because it's to clarify your Ten of Cups and Fed Up, it's all, it, it, it's all types of journey, okay? Physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual, right? Um, it, it's you basically getting through this current hardship, hardship here, rebuilding yourself some of you are building a business or rebuilding a business in the meanwhile trying to rebuild yourself at the same time it's indicating that you will be very very successful with that uh, you've got a message of concern coming in from the hierophant which is a taurus or someone who is very very rigid very stubborn usually very slow to move uh, someone who would prefer to stay out of the situation you've got a message of concern coming in from them Can you tell us about the unbothered energy please what was all going on there the unbothered the star okay um hope inspiration dreams your north star you finding your way again leo um it's you navigating your way back to uh reality back to yourself um it's also beginnings and endings and your progress so you are making progress you might not be feeling it right now especially if you're in the thick of this at the moment you might not be even seeing that light at the end of the tunnel but your cards are saying look you are actually making progress you are healing albeit slowly it is still happening okay when you think about it they give me an image of somebody at the gym and it, it, it's uh, it's a metaphor because I'm seeing someone doing the weightlifts. Uh, so initially, when you start doing weightlifting, I'm just giving you the example that they're giving me, right? When you start doing weightlifting, they feel really, really heavy. And you're like, oh, shit, what have I started? I'm way out of my depth. Like, I can't do this. I'm too weak. Uh, but you persevere and push through and you do however many lifts, right? And then the next day, that's when all your muscles start to hurt and you're in agony and you're like oh shit what have I done I've just made myself worse I've made things worse what have I done um but you persevere and you go back in and you do some more weights and then you're like oh this feels a bit lighter than the last time and you look at it and it's still it's still the same weight right um but it feels a little bit lighter than the last time that you used it so you're building up your muscles right and it happens over time so what the message there is you have to persevere and get through these stages that you're in right now so that you can ultimately become stronger i know it sounds cheesy um, but they're saying look you're not going to see the results of your hard work immediately right it doesn't walk it, it doesn't work that way you don't walk in the gym lift the weights a couple of times and then you walk out of that gym within the same hour and you're walking out of that gym all buff right it doesn't work that way it's something that has to be built up over time exactly like your your physical muscles okay it's something that happens over that perseverance and time a combination of both and spirit's saying you are making progress 
right? So maintain your current course and you must not quit. In the meanwhile, get dealing with these karmic friends that's in your energy. What's going on with the karmics, please, for Leo? Thank you. The dog and the gift. So this indicates that you're cutting ties with certain karmic individuals in in your life, Leo, so that you can make way for genuine individuals. Uh, so that you can make way for true soulmate connections. What's going on with the creeping and the fool, please? Some of you could have an Aquarius that's spying on you. The moon, okay, number 32. Um, that's the subconscious, it's your intuition. Your emotions, recognition, your, your dreams coming into fruition. It can be um, other people as well. So what I mean by other people, it's like how other people see you. OK, and the the cards that it comes out with give deeper meaning to that. So other people see you. I, I think you've been accused here of something, Leo. I think you've been accused of creeping on someone when in actual fact you, you're not bothered. Like you've got better things to do with your time than go spying on other people. But someone's accusing of you of someone's accusing you of doing it anyway. Um and this is indicating like take that risk towards your dreams in spite of what other people might be saying about you behind your back, because you might not believe it right now, Leo, but on the whole, people genuinely do love you. People genuinely do come to you for advice because you are very, very well respected, okay? You can tell us about the Page of Swords and the Idol, please. Someone, someone spying on you while they are accusing you of doing it to them. It feels really, really childish very narcissistic also main female um <clears throat> the letter thoughts and journey someone is going to reach out to you here leo uh they, they are going to communicate to you this feels like an email rather than a text or a phone call um it's an email because someone's thought very long and hard about exactly what it is that they're going to put in this email to you um they don't want anything to be um mistaken that they don't want any cross wires so it's like they're using their words very carefully very wisely and they're hoping that they can move a situation forward with you this could also be someone who's wanting to physically come and see you as well and they're going to be putting their thoughts in an email so that you two can then discuss with each other their concerns whatever it is that's going on with them um, face to face. Okay. Interesting. And then at the bottom of the deck, you've got main female. Do you see what I mean about the amount of people in this energy, Leo? And that's the problem. It's like tit for tat. He said, she said. They said, they did. Do you know what I mean? And it's there's a lot of um, crossed wires, a lot of misunderstandings, and it just feels really, really messy, to be honest. But in your potential outcome or your guidance column, it looks like the individual that this concerns, you and them directly, are going to be speaking to each other and coming to some kind of resolution. Okay. Can I have a healing message, please, for Leo? Oh. Love. Oh, I thought it was love. It's unity. Number 34, unity. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Yeah, interesting. And then the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Okay. Um... So, obviously, we, we do sound like a broken record as tower readers when we keep saying, trust your intuition. We're not just saying it to fill the airspace, okay? Um, it's the most repeated phrase out there, but it's also the one where the most people tend to tut and roll their eyes, all right? We don't just say it to waste oxygen. 
you have to pay attention to your intuition. Your intuition is very, very different from your loud inner critic. Okay, really different. And it can be difficult, especially when you're in the fog of whatever this bullshit is that's going on. Um, your loud inner critic at the moment might be the loudest of the two. So you're going to have to quieten down that loud inner critic and start paying attention to your intuition. Your intuition, uh, what is it? It's that sense of you knowing something. It's that sense of you just feeling that something's off or feeling that something's right. It's, um, it is really, really difficult to explain in words because your intuition goes beyond uh, human words. Let's just put it that way. Um, it's like you will know deep down in your gut when something is off or you'll know deep down when someone's being a bit funny with you, uh, when they're, you know, when they're wearing a mask, when, when they're lying to you. Um, it, it, it's tied in to like your fight or flight response. Okay. And it can, it can actually physically manifest as well. So for example, whenever you're around someone who's quite high up, on the narcissistic scale, uh, you might find that your stomach will start to uh, protest quite loudly and you'll end up getting really bad cramps and, and feeling physically sick. Okay. Uh, for example, pay attention to it. All right. That little niggle where, when someone sets off the hairs going on the back of your neck in a bad way, listen to it. When someone gives you the tingles in a good way, listen to it, okay? Your intuition is spot on at the moment, Leo. Absolutely spot on. Right. Unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace and hope. You radiate and attract great love. This card is all about emotions, feelings, developments and rewards. There is a greater sense of harmony surrounding relationships and new projects and your career or business will fulfill you, but be prepared for an unexpected twist of fate. This card signifies the harmonious union between two people and you may come together with the person of great energy who will uplift your life. It also foretells two people bonding through an emotional connection. If this is about personal or your relationships, this card represents two people as similar beliefs and traditions bound together in a soulmate experience. You desire more intimacy in your life and long for deep emotional connection. You have opened up your heart and let go of the restrictions of the past and you're now free to show your true feelings and make long-term decisions. These are definitive changes ahead and progress in most relationships is likely. Trust and communication will be strong and now is an auspicious time for commitments and proposals in all kinds of relationships. It can also be a symbol of seduction, for telling desire and passion and an incredibly strong, deep connection. If this is about money or your career, then a new business or project is likely, even a brand new job. Any real estate investments, either in buying or selling, could also be offered to you. You could find yourself in the driver's seat and be thrilled with what it is that's being proposed. Okay, so the power tip is place happy photos of yourself and your partner or your family or your loved ones in a heart-shaped pink frame in your bedroom or your living area. Round items such as coasters, a dining table or golden balls in a bowl to symbolize unity, enlightenment and perfection. And a fountain or a water feature could bring peace and good luck to the whole household. Remember to play sensual, soothing music to create a healthy, harmonious environment. Yeah, so connections are being made here, Leo. Like that that's super, super strong. Um and again, you and another individual coming to this understanding and making big progress in a difficult situation with a difficult individual. Okay. Um, it looks like this is all going to balance out. 
but yeah, that is what I have for you, Leo. It's up to you what you do with this reading. Please remember that tarot is not a scapegoat. It is not a crutch. It's a guide and you're the one that's in charge of your destiny. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your book in at phoenixkiatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.